out of the way. So let's take a look at how I did this very large new portrait of CM Punk. Uh, my plan, and I stuck with it through the whole thing, was to paint it all in black and white and grayscale, except for the tattoos that I'll do in color. Uh, so first starting off with uh, a lighter gray to really mostly define where the whites were going to be on the space as well as uh, you know, differentiating the, the figure from what I'll do with the background, uh, which will be actually the last thing I do on this, a little unusual for my normal process, but it works for this piece. Uh, to call there. <laughs> uh, now coming in with a little bit darker gray. Uh, it's a black watercolor that just uh, watered down, obviously, and uh, applying that to the figure. So now got that in, and there's still another level of gray that I will bring in, uh, but it, when I put that one down, it can make it make the pencils kind of hard to see. So I'm coming in with ink, uh, which would normally be the last step for the black and white process. And as you can see, when I put my inks in, it's really when my portraits, my style comes alive. Uh, you know, I've talked about before, but my major influences are like comic books and, and illustration. Uh, so those influences are coming through pretty strong now. Uh, but yeah, bringing in the blacks, uh, black part of the tattoo uh, as well, and uh, bringing the shapes out. CM Punk character really talks to me. Uh, it was the infamous pipe bomb scene that made me decide to do this whole uh, process to begin with. Uh, so it's you know it's always fun whenever I get to paint a new portrait of him. So now coming in with that darker bit of gray that I told you about, which is actually watered down ink. And now utilizing some liquid acrylic paint, which I hadn't worked with before, but uh, hey, you know, like what's life without adventure, right? So uh, all the color for the tattoos I'm doing with the liquid acrylic. Uh, it's fun to work with because it goes on mostly opaque. You can see a little bit of what I did with the gray and black beneath, but uh, not too much. You know, it mostly holds its own color, uh, which works pretty much precisely with what I had intended with this portrait. Uh, did the yellow, green, darker green, blue, now coming in with the red. And once I've got that bit of color in, I'm able to see like, you know, a few touch-ups to do with black and, you know, a few outlines on the tattoos, some of the, uh, you know, text that he has on him. So bringing those finishing parts in to uh, complete the, the full approach that I had for the figure. And uh, now I'm going to bring in a little bit of the background and then also the upper part, I watered it all down and just dropped the ink in there. And there's the finished piece. Not bad. Buy stuff. Hey friends, got two paintings up at auction.wwe.com right now. Uh, first got Randy Orton. It's only got a couple days left on it. As you can see, it's Two foot by two foot, pretty good size, uh, mixed media on that. I did acrylic and oil and marker and you know just like everything I could to make it feel right. Also got one of my very best pieces up there right now, uh, my Rey Mysterio Champions Collection portrait. It's a big one, it's four foot by two foot. I did it all with spray paint if you can believe that. I cut stencils for each one of the colors on there. So head on over to auction.wwe.com and place your bid before they're gone. Thanks.